Good morning and welcome to Centenary United Methodist Church. We're so glad you're here to worship with us today. Well, I want to say thank you again for your prayers and thoughts. Uh, my, my mantle and my house is covered with cards from all of you. Thank you so very much. Uh, this last week, we made a lot of progress and physical therapy is going well. Uh, I'm actually feeling pretty confident still on the walker, but uh, feeling confident about getting around and, and starting to do things. I hope that I'm able to be with you at least part time uh, sometime maybe in the next couple of weeks. In the meantime, uh, I just appreciate again your support so very, very much. Uh, you're, you're an integral part of helping me heal. And uh, the best thing you can do for me is fill the church and stay active and busy in all of your ministries. That just lifts my heart up. Thank you, thank you for all your love. Fall has set in, and that means that Trunk or Treat is coming in just a few weeks. On Wednesday, October 31st, we'll be having our Trunk or Treat. Leading up to that, we need you to help us by donating candy. You can also sign up to be in the trunk or treat by bringing your car down, opening up your trunk or the bed of your truck, and offering to stand there and hand out candy to all the children in our neighborhood that come through that day. If you would like to be a part of that, you can call the church office and let us know. If you would like to bring candy, just come on down to the church office at any point in time and bring your candy donation with you. Also, the United Methodist men are preparing for Thanksgiving. Yeah, I know it's a little ways away, but the men reach out into the community and really help so many families through Christmas and Thanksgiving that they wanna go ahead and start early preparing for that. And to do that, the men will be setting up boxes around the church where you can come and bring non-perishable food items to donate. These things can be canned green beans, canned corn, things like that, boxes of stuffing, gravy mix, the traditional things that you would have at a Thanksgiving meal that are non-perishable. The men take care of providing the rest. This week, there is no Logos due to fall break. So remember this Wednesday, there is no Logos, but we'll see you the next week on Wednesday as we celebrate Halloween that day by wearing our costumes on October 24th. Good morning. The first Sunday in November is one of the most meaningful worship services of the year. It's what we call All Saints. We remember those that have passed away. We remember those families and pray especially for those who have lost loved ones. All that is a part of the worship service. Uh, remembering, celebrating the lives of our loved ones who have passed and encouraging and affirming those who are in grief. The service is so powerful and so meaningful. I encourage you to plan on coming and, and really think about the people in your life that maybe need that moment to feel close to God because of a loss they've experienced or the grief in their life. Thank you. Remember, October 28th is coming and that's when we're gonna have Pledge Sunday. On that day, there will be a special time in each one of our worship services where we will bring down our pledge cards and lay them on the altar. This year, you're going to receive a Centenary United Methodist Church mug. We know that you'll enjoy it, and it's something that you can have in your hands as you drink that warm cup of coffee or that cup of hot chocolate all throughout the winter months. So remember, on October 28th, we will have our Pledge Sunday. Fill out that pledge card and bring it in that day as we celebrate Pledge Sunday. Again, welcome to Centenary United Methodist Church. We're so glad to have you with us in worship today. Let us now join our hearts and our minds together as we enter into this time of worship. 